Hey, what's going on? Uh, obviously, if you read, you saw what the title is, but uh, I guess I'll tell you again, because maybe you can't read like me. Just kidding. Oh, this is a unboxing of sportsmansguide.com. So, what do we have here? So, take a look. Italian military air force gator new or old stock either way looks like it's pretty much unused so why not call it new oh what the heck I'm only trying to see if it's bad anyway. um, so let's take a look and what I kind of like about this is it's kind of like a midnight blue it's almost black you can see they've got this very dark um, pleather type of trim on there um, it's heavy duty canvas uh, what's kind of most important on these and I guess I'll have to try these and if they really suck I'll let you know but you've got these um, much easier to adjust these than the old um, if you take a look at my green ones from the army or whatever you have to go through all these little knobs with um, laces uh, also this ties in with my um, Navy working uniform uh, as far as the uh, <coughs> excuse me Gore-Tex um, trousers and the um, jacket um, and just being a neutral color this will go with a lot more things than, than the uh, olive stuff will all right I didn't really get that much honestly I got three items in here um, and I ordered this stuff on Monday so uh, they actually sent this thing out pretty fast um, I paid for it you know I did pay five dollars more this originally was supposed to come here on Thursday and it came one day early so I think it's really worth it to uh, pay that extra money if you've got it um, so what was this called this was like the special uh, US military special uh, Somali belt um, I don't know if this is going to be worth it, honestly. I mean, it is made in the USA. Ooh um, is it going to be worth it? Is it something that I can really use? I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, I can try to resell this if I don't. I can't find a use for it. Um, what makes this thing a little bit different is you got all these little danglers on here. So um, they've got snaps. Um, I was kind of intrigued when I saw um the picture and you've got all these different loops i thought possibly i could use these loops on something else um obviously they're meant only to be worn on some type of service belts or something like that because you, you can't snap these on or off here but whatever these things were meant to hold you can obviously open these things up um, I don't know if that's going to be useful or not. Um, I've got a lot of Coyote Brown, and I guess this is called Desert Tan, but to me it actually looks like Coyote Brown. Maybe they they don't know what color this thing is. Um, but also there's a lot of Velcro here to hold this stuff as well for adjustments. I don't know if that's going to be good or if that's going to be bad. Um, plus you got these snaps which kind of help this area here so we'll find out um, if you have any more questions you want some detailed stuff on this and you, you may not even ever see this again but you can post stuff on it same with just about anything I've got if I still have it I'll do it now I do sell stuff on eBay um, you know I'm buying this stuff and I'll try to review it before I if I decide I don't like it or some reason I need to sell something to pay for something else I'm getting yeah I do 
most of the stuff I sell, I want to sell. Um, sometimes I put things up that I know will get me some quick money so then I can buy something else and then hope that I can uh, replace it. Uh, so let's take a look. Here's what's this last thing here. So, all this says is the Blueberry Wind Shirt. Uh, what is it? WT1. So, but this stuff, oh, U.S. Military Navy Digital Wind. Oh, this is a half zip. And I believe it's made by Wells Things. Let's take a look at it. Um, where is the tag? Let's verify. So, I want to see if there's an NSN or not. This may or may not be an NSN type of thing, but from what I understand that this thing is, um, I forget the name, the fabric they're using on this, but there's uh, encapsulated, okay, do, do, do. Designed in New England, made in the USA, size large, um, Wild Things Tactical, and shit, I can't even remember the name. I'll look it up and so you can read about it, what material this is. But this thing basically, oh yeah, so it does have the USN, so this is an official thing. I didn't see a NSN on this. Um, there's not much information on this. The only things that I found on this was from some... Um, surplus seller and I think they might be from the UK I don't remember but they they had the most information on this uh, sportsman's guide really didn't say much on this actually that it was like a US Navy official thing and I can't find anything on uh, YouTube and that's part of why I'm doing this uh, I've got this pocket right here zippered there is not another on there. Um, to me, this looks like this is, and see how thin this stuff is. But I guess what they have is some encapsulated uh, threads, encapsulated with silicone to make this um, super water resistant and a very long you know, durability. So like even when you watch this stuff, uh, this stuff is still supposed to keep its um, water resistance, uh, you know, no matter how many times, well, not, not how many times, but, the, you know, a lot of the DWR that you, you see on, on this type of thing um, wears out and you have to refresh it. And in theory, you don't really have to do it on this. As I understand it, but obviously, I guess I'll have to find out. Um, there is a hood inside of here. Um, I said, uh, what's nice about this is very lightweight. I think I'm going to put this in my vehicle as one of my emergency um, type of things. I will wear this as well. But let's see how this fits. Huh? Anyway, so there's a drawstring there. Uh, this is made as a windbreaker, I guess. Um, also for some, you know, rain and stuff like that. I really kind of like this because it's super lightweight. So I think I could even use this in, uh, even in the summer. It's so light. Um, it's supposed to be breathable. I have not tested it, so I don't know how breathable this is. I will. I guess I'll try to test it. See how water resistant it is. Um, I think it's going to end up doing pretty well. I could go grab a bottle of water right now. Let's find out. So this is very scientific. 
some of these. So you can see here that stuff just beaded right off. Let's see if we let this this one sit here for a while. See if we can get this to soak in. So there's one little tiny one and there's a bigger one. You might not be able to see it because of the uh, thing. Okay, so I just broke the surface on a little tiny one. It looks like some of it did go inside the fabric, but most of it's on my skin, actually. Wow, that's, that's pretty good stuff. Um, you can see here, there's still some here. This stuff is supposed to be able to dry very fast if it does get saturated. And it really doesn't want to saturate it very well. You can see there, I think it's actually gone in there a bit. I don't really feel it on my skin underneath. But um, I think this is a good deal. This is one of those things on clearance. It was, uh, I think, $32 after the Sportsman's Guide discount. Um, I am 6 feet tall, 220 pounds. I need to lose a little weight. This still fits on my stomach here um, gives me some room if I do want to wear like a light uh, you know sometimes I'll wear a fleece um, jacket underneath so I think this would actually work pretty well in combination with a, a fleece I'll try to put it on one of my um, ECWS or something like that um, but that's all I've really got uh, I buy this stuff so maybe you don't have to or maybe it makes you want to buy it. That's why I sell this junk. I see how good this color matches. It's very close. Close enough. So if I'm wearing this with the those trousers, I think this will work great. This will work with a lot of things. I'll try these on and see if it's if it's easy to adjust these or not. It looks like it's much easier, but I haven't tried them yet. Alright guys, have a good one.